What is up you guys? In this video, I do some epic kayak fishing on a new location, fishing this big old bridge, and we tore up the speckled trout. But I wanted to show you guys really quick, because I've been experimenting with a lot of new like recipes for speckled trout, because speckled trout fishing is absolutely on fire right now. So I've been experimenting with a lot of new recipes. You guys, you have to watch the end of this video. I don't care if you guys skip to the end of this video when I cook this trout, because this is a recipe you guys have to try. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna roll the footage of us going out and catching these speckled trout out on the bridge. I'll see y'all back in the kitchen, show you guys how I prepare this fish. What's up, bro? Yeah. Beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful out, dude. Yeah, this is perfect for trout. I'm digging Bomb. it. I'm guessing I'm digging this one? Yeah. Okay. Water's still kinda warm. I know, it's not. You. Duck. Here we are out on the water. Woo! Man, it's an awesome day. It's a Friday. Weekend's coming up. I'm in a good mood. And when you guys are in a good mood, I feel like that's when you catch fish. Confidence is up. And we've got a little bit warmer weather out here. As you can see, winds are super mellow. Check it out. Chesapeake Bay, that's where I'm at, you guys. And today we are fishing one of the more popular bridges in the Virginia Beach area. This is the HRBT, Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. For those of y'all who ain't from around here, this bridge sucks. This bridge is like the most traffic out of any bridge in the world. There's traffic every day. I guarantee you right now that I will be pedaling faster in this kayak than half the people who are in their cars right now. So we're gonna be fishing right up against the bridge. We're gonna be looking for speckled trout, redfish, Maybe some flounder that are still around, but mainly big old speckled trout. That's kind of what we're going after, you guys. Big speckled trout, slot over slot redfish, red drum, maybe some striper actually. But I heard there's a lot of really big speckled trout up along here. So you guys, speckled trout fever, it is for real. Oh yeah, it's totally for real. And I've got it right now. So Colton and I, we are going after the big mama. We're trying to get into that 25, maybe 30 inch class speckled trout. But definitely just showing you guys a different type of fishing, fishing up against the big old bridge. Anyways, you guys, that's it. We're just making our way out to the fishing grounds. Got one Z-man behind me on the troll, a little paddle tail. That's probably what we're gonna be throwing today. Z-man, quarter ounce jig heads. But go ahead, put the camera down. Get my leg workout on. Whew. There's a fish. There we go. That feels like a little trout. Definitely a little trout. Well, first fish of the day, people. I'll bet you it's gonna be about the same size as my lure, but definitely some action and it just pulled off yeah so we've got like this point right here obviously and then the current which y'all cannot see it kind of forms like a little eddy right here so I'm kind of sitting actually it's pretty nice I'm not having to like pedal even though this current's like ripping like right over there all right you guys finding a little something out here how big are you and eh, a little trout Definitely the target species, not the 30 incher that we're looking for. All right, y'all, target species, dink. So that definitely shows us that there's life right around here. Uh, you know, there's obviously fish. So we're gonna target this area and we're actually gonna use this as like a, a, a clue for, you know, so we're gonna use this as a big piece of the puzzle. I've never really fished this area before ever. I've never fished this area. I did one video here. First time I ever fished with my really good friend, John. I fished somewhere on the other side of the HRBT, but I've never fished right here and um, never really fished the HRBT ever. Um, so anyways, you guys, so we're gonna take note for sure of the fact that these fish are right here off of this point. Uh, I'm also gonna take note of like how deep these fish are in and everything. Cause there's another point just like this one, just up a ways and we might, give that one a shot too there's a boat on it but maybe we'll go make some new friends
There we go. That's a fish. That's what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, I'm hooked up on a real. Oh, don't get me in the rocks, please. Did he get me in the rocks? I think he pulled off and got me in the rocks. That was a real fish right there. That was my slot red. Yeah, frayed me. Dude, there's gotta be trout right here. Okay. Well, some. Yeah. Pulled off. Yeah. It wasn't. There's another bite. Another bite. Woo! Hello. That's a little thump. That's a trout. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right here. That's a, that's a trout. That's a keeper. Come into my net. Where you at? Please don't shake off. Dang, son. Where you at? Oh, son. 16, 17, probably. Oh, my gosh. You're a giant. Dude, this net's just not working. This is the worst net job ever. Okay. <laughs> that is how not to land your fish. But gargantuan, that's what we're out here for, people. Right here. Boom. Dang, that guy swallowed it. That was the absolute worst net job I've ever executed in my entire life. That's a fatty. Gotta be 18, 19. Yeah, Boom. man. That's some size there, dude. Right fatty. here, dude. Fatty. All right, you guys. We're in this little cut right here and just trying to keep the kayak in position. But yeah, the current, we're trying to kind of get into like a little eddy where there's not as much current. We've got this tide has pretty much came all the way in. It's got really high water. So we're gonna just kind of get way up in here, try and get underneath this bridge. Got some really good structure. Dang, that was a that was a really good bite. I was just reeling it in. Got some really good structure right here. Why I like this spot is because you've got all these rocks right here and it's just the place that these predator fish are gonna come in and hang out. And, uh, and they'll kind of feed, they'll go back into the current to feed or they'll just wait for some of that bait to, um, wait for some of that bait to get washed up here on this little kind of flat that we're in. It's not a flat, but kind of, there's a fish. Dang, that's a good one. All right, you guys, that's a good one. I gotta focus, that's, that's a good trout. That's a good trout. That's a really good trout. Dang, and it pulled off. So yeah, you guys, these predator fish, they'll come in here and they'll just kind of hang out. They don't have to fight so hard for their meal. There we go. There's a fish. Feels a little better. I think, yeah, that's a keeper. For sure. Let's get the net. Cool. All right. There we go. That's a fatso. All right, y'all. Here we are back in the kitchen. And today, you guys, I'm going to show y'all what I like to call dank trout. There's really no other way to describe it. I know that's kind of like a slang term, but. This is just, this trout is money. It's so, so good. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best speckled trout you have ever had in your life using 
these simple ingredients. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead, put the camera on the tripod, and let's get to cooking. By the way, this trout is just beautiful. Look how big this thing is. This is like a 20 inch trout, at least. Love filleting these big ones like this. If it's a really big one, I actually like to let it go, but the 20 inch ones are like perfect for what we're gonna do. So you got your speckled trout right here, got your dorsal fin. All we're gonna do is just make one cut right behind the dorsal fin, just a diagonal cut. And then we're gonna come down, because this is all the stomach right here. One quick cut like that. And then we're gonna turn the fish around. And then we're just gonna cut down the backbone, down the spine. Just using the, uh, just using kind of like the front of our knife, just working it down the fillet, not cutting, you know, uh, so we're not cutting too deep into it. Cause all we're gonna do is just keep using our knife to just fillet this fish nice and easy as we open it up more and more. So all we go, there's our trout filleted very nicely, all the meats off of it. All right, you guys, so here is our speckled trout fillets. And I'm gonna show you guys very quickly and very easily how to make these trout fillets the best tasting that you've ever seen them. All right, so these fillets are already rinsed. They're already ready to go. They're already prepped. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna actually show you guys two different variations of this recipe. The first variation is going to be crab stuffed trout. The next variation is going to be like a trout sandwich. So for the trout sandwich that I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take these larger fillets and I'm going to cut them in half. And the seasoning, this is all the ingredients, everything that we're using today is very easy. So we're going to go ahead and just lay out our fillets on the cooking sheet so we can get a good seasoning on them just like we normally would. We're going to start off with some paprika. Next is gonna be cayenne pepper. And of course, some pepper. All right, you guys, so this is where the recipe gets really fun. So now we're gonna make our crab that we're going to stuff our trout with. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our crab meat, put it in our pot. All right, so next is we're gonna do some diced onions, just eyeballing all this. We're gonna also do a little bit of seasoning on all this, some paprika, a little bit of cayenne. Can't go wrong with some Old Bay. All right, so now we're gonna add some of these crackers that are ground up. I just, so I just put these in a blender for like 10 seconds. These are just normal crackers. About that much. And then we're just gonna bind all this together with one egg. All right, so once you got your egg in there, just mix all this together. But yeah, so that's it. All right, so we're just gonna mix this up nicely like that. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil in here once we get it mixed up pretty good. Add just a little bit of olive oil. Keep mixing it up. And then last but not least, a little bit of pepper. All right, you guys, so this is our crab right here mixed up that we're gonna use to stuff our fish with. Again, I did this in like a minute and a half. Super easy. Now what we're gonna do, Step this up a notch. We're gonna take some of this cream cheese. I got chive and onion, because I thought that'd probably taste, that that would go well with our fish. This right here is gonna be used for our fish sandwich. So we're gonna take this cream cheese and we are going to put it on the fish. Just like, so we're putting the cream cheese on the fish just like we're putting it on a bagel. I got this recipe from Captain Aaron Beetson, the Cobia killer. He says this is an old family recipe. All right, super easy, you guys. We got our cream cheese spread right here, and then we're gonna add a little bit of bacon bits. These are kind of burnt. I left them in the microwave a little bit too long. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna put some Old Bay on this. Okay, check this out. Then we're gonna put the fish right there Dang. on top of that. Fish sandwich right there, wow. All right, and then we're gonna do one more layer of this cream cheese. You guys, this recipe is better than restaurant quality. There ain't no restaurant who's making fish anywhere like this. And it's very easy. You can do it right at your home. Put our cream cheese on the top of our fish right here. Same thing. Do some bacon, a little bit more Old Bay. Boom, and she's good to go. All right, so this is our first variation right here. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff these. These are longer, skinnier fillets, so I'm gonna stuff these with our crab. Yeah, so all we're doing now is we're just taking our crab that we just had this mixed together, 
put it on the fish just like that and let's just experiment with one of these and let's go ahead and add this cream cheese a little experimentation never hurts all right christy got me some toothpicks so all you're gonna do now thanks for the shout out make dude. it oh my gosh this thing is full <laughs> Wow, Put a toothpick that. in there. Dang. Wow. Are you going to eat all amazing. of that for dinner? I'm going to try to. <laughs> right? Alright, very, very last thing. Just to add a little bit of juice to all this. is just a tiny bit of olive oil. Look at that. Dang, Let's get a close-up right there. I got a close-up. Alright. <laughs> okay, here we go. Into the oven it goes. Got the, um, I got the oven at 375. And we're going to go ahead throw these fillets on in there. Keep a close eye on them because we do not want to overcook this fish. What are you doing, spirit fingers? Yes, yeah, spirit fingers. What is that? Spirit fingers. You gotta join in with your spirit fingers. Oh, I don't do spirit fingers. How about you just pound it out? All right, so this fish has been cooking for about 15 minutes and been checking it out, you guys. This looks amazing. Look at that. Oh yes, you guys check that out. This is our crab stuffed trout. The toothpick held it together very nicely. These dank trout sandwiches look so good. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do. Taste test, wow. That tastes like a dessert. Oh yeah, here let's get a close up on this over here. Look at this you guys. All right, look at this. This looks like almost like a confectionery cake or something I got of a bakery so here we got our trout on the bottom got our stuffing right in between with bacon bits stuffing on top this is our crab stuffed trout with the what was it cream cheese spread in it with the bacon bits let's get all that look at this bite right here if I want to get one more close-up on this just so I can show you guys all this flavor so our speckled trout cooked really nicely with our seasoning and then, yeah, I've got our cream cheese, bacon bits, and then our crab right in between. This recipe right here, you guys, it took about, realistically, 25 minutes for me to prepare it, not including cleaning the fish. So about 25 minutes to prepare it, and it takes about 25 minutes to cook it. So 40 to 45 minutes to have some of the best tasting fish I've ever had. That is not too shabby at all. Look at that. Okay, so there it is, you guys. We've got Bacon bits, we've got our cream cheese, crab. This is amazing. About 40, 45 minutes is all it takes to make this. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that recipe. I hope y'all try that out. All right, y'all, so that's it. That's all I got for this recipe. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that, and hopefully this encourages y'all to think outside of the box. And I don't know, do a little bit of experimenting. So I did some, and it definitely paid off. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. You guys give it a shout. Let me know what y'all think. If you guys like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys already haven't, please subscribe to this channel to help us out. All right, y'all. That's all we got. You guys get up off your butt. Go catch yourself a big, giant gator trout.